oh, yeah? around there. Maybe. Cool. Maybe. I, I assume if we look behind us, we're going to see people warming up. Do you see people warming up? Yeah. I always appreciate having the warm stations like right Very close the backstage. Yeah. yeah. It's really nice. Important. Into the action. Right. Swedish oh. going peach. What do you think about this? I think... Uh, <laughs> I was about to say that... He probably wanted that to happen. The, the down yeah, smash the desire of down smash is so good. Yeah, but it's not his main. He's not gonna have as much experience getting gimps or combos. But he does have a very solid team. He does. He does use very secondary equipment. Right now, blue team seems to have massive control over Mike Hayes, especially. Right, they've been pinning down Mike Hayes. Swedish has been having a little bit of trouble getting close enough to Mike Hayes to stop encounters. Dang, Cobalt, you hold him down! Cool. Yeah. It's fine, he's alive. Cobalt entering that pressure in. Oh my god, it's a little sloppy. I used to wonder because we saw my case, he was playing overall. Oh my god. Let's go, Cobalt. Swedish not getting that perfect edge guard sequence. He gets my one case. of them at least. Okay, he gets them both. Yeah, he gets them both, but it's six stocks to four. It's a little tough appearance right now for my case. My case wants to take his time on the platforms and the. Like, Wait for his interactive moments, but Cobalt's really forcing them on him. So. Yeah, Cobalt's really good at forcing the engagement, and Peach is not really handling opening up the engagement. Her, oh my god, that was so sick. Smart good down smash. Like his, yeah. oh. Only three stocks left for red team. There are a couple times these twinkle toes from Peach are just narrowly missing. It's really unfortunate. Dang, Cobalt occupying Peach. Those are really cool gimps out there with the jab and the shine. Oh, that's all of my case's stocks. They gotta change something. Yeah, that's five stocks from my case. It didn't look like Peach was a huge playmaker, but right now it's occupying Cobalt. Oh, it gets it out of there. Okay, let's try again. Reset. And like Peach was occupying them for you know some of the time, but you said it didn't make it enough Slow. place. Yeah, it, it took a little. Too much time coming from Swedish running over. I, I can yeah. sense the switch. Should we stick? He's like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Is Let's go Yoshi's with Peach. <laughs> <laughs> He's over, over a bunch of characters he doesn't play. But Yoshi's with Peach might not be a, be a bad idea. It's just... It's possible. Yeah. You, when they Does, play, does Cobalt go Marth? Oh, <laughs> cool. That'd be cool. Right now, I think they're really questioning what can she do for us that's better. Yeah. It, I just feel like uh, when they went to Yoshi's last time, uh, they still played a more methodical, like, you know, Mike Hayes played more safe. So, I don't know. Right now, I really need to see Mike Hayes get enough room to, to stand his own against Crush and Cobalt. Both these players are playing neutral very strong. Yeah. it's If he manages to slip past Cobalt, Crush is, like you said, in that good spot. Sometimes, you know, Swedish is there, but it's just a shake, so we'll see how this changes. Now, the original intention, of course, was that Peach would be able to throw off these boxes off their feet or their footing, and that Mike Hayes would be able to come in. Right now, they're going to retry Battlefield, game two. Yeah, so Swedish uh, managed to occupy Cobalt there for some time. Cobalt was getting Mike Hayes the most trouble. Uh, so we'll see how he does against Crush. Yeah, right now, of course, Crush is the support role, as we usually see him. And he's always positioned in quite a right spot to back up Cobalt or follow him up. All right, all right. My case point that first kill. So important for red team. It's definitely working out better for. <laughs> Swedish, for look team. at that familiarity with these positionings. Already, his damage output is a little bit better. Uh, really? Oh my God, Mike Hayes baiting out the camera or something. Like, <laughs> how did Swedish live? I, I, slight big miscommunication between Crush and uh, Cobalt. I think uh, Cobalt thought that Crush would clean it up. Cobalt is already chasing off Mike Hayes. My case recovers at this weird angle and he's gonna need help to make it back. Good coverage from Cobalt. Even stock count. Cobalt and Crush did win game one. Oh. That's, that's tough. So she was probably pushing to punish that, but he tried. Yeah, right now I feel like both red team members are having a hard time covering each other. My case needs a lot of space to do the, to form his game plan. Yeah, wow. and there are a lot of times where my case is getting caught, and Swedish is having a hard time counterattacking. Yeah, because you don't always have the, the luxury of freedom that she can see in this matchup. Two foxes. Pretty restricted in movement. Once once one of them is off stage, life is really good. No, Swedish! You can hold the ledge better. Okay, well, still might get it. Mike is going to get this one. 
Oh, this looks like a very different game. Now the Sky Count is finally in Red Team's favor. Sudish's shield has been his like strongest asset here. He's shielding in such good... My case. Uh, <laughs> sniper. Not there, but he's shielding in a lot of really good spots. Just kind of forcing them to deal with it. What's he gonna Sheik's do shield is so big, if you're right. Doing that offense on Sheik doubles, not the same as singles. Yeah. Big ol' shield. Okay, his signature short. Oh no. Okay. Putting Swedish in kind of an awkward position. My K is known for his uh, patience, right? With being in the same position. Okay, cool. Yeah, not looking too good right there. Also just, oh, he was he was it out. Just say. Swedish not positioning too perfect. That's my case. I don't think Swedish was ready for that at all. Yeah. It made sense, right? Like looking back on it. No, he, he sent him right into his teammate. I also saw up smash coming in my head. Yeah. Blue team. Staying close to each other, real good. Red team, I feel like it's just too separated. Right there, taking advantage of hits off of hits. That's the kind of what you need, because uh, it's not easy for Foxy to do like big damage really quickly. Exactly. So you gotta get those ping pong bounce back combos. The damage output is not too high, but oh my god, Kobo almost dead. He's down to recovery. My case. Red team finally up. Right, so this is. This is looking pretty good for Red Team, man. Really great illusion into the side, avoiding that needle. Mike Hayes controlling middle with up tilt, and he knows when to back off. Really tough for Sheik because she's at such an easy edge card range. Mike Hayes. Trying to find these uh, straight hits that he needs. Yeah, Mike Hayes is having a really hard time positioning. He's putting he's piecing his comeback together, but oh, gets clipped. Ah, interesting that he didn't use that tool. There. Okay, that'll be it. That's fine. So, well played by Red Team. Now, a lot of good pickups. Swedish and Mike Hayes gripping together their strategy by like a thread each time I see them win. Yeah. Managed to work out uh, much of the fact that Swedish gave Mike Hayes a lot of time, right? By occupying certain spots, uh, shielding and just waiting and staying in certain areas. They let Mike Hayes do his thing. Um, didn't let Crush back up Cobo as hard, and then Swedish, you know, managed to get a bunch of great conversions as well. Yeah, the, the conversions really mattered a lot, and holding space more comfortably as Sheik. Both of those factors made the synergy way higher. Yeah. Even though Swedish might have accomplished those things with a few down smashes from Peach, this Sheik right now is performing very well. Cobo trying to be greedy right there. I thought he'd drop down try, honestly. <laughs> Real Crush handling the left side really well right there. My case, shortening. Oh, that's a stock unless fire comes to save him. Oh, might, might have killed them both. Yeah, double edge guard coming in, and they both make it on stage. Really fortunate for Blue Team and almost getting a stock. Oh my God! Dang, Swedish! Dang, if he held the ledge. <laughs> Very different outcome. Very smart from Crusher to hold that off smash. Yep. Make sure his teammate doesn't get killed. Oh my god. Dang, a lot of damage coming out against Swedish. Swedish holding shield wisely though. My case is gonna get a shine opportunity here. That's dangerous. Why is he shortening? Right here, he's been letting Swedish handle a lot of the corner pressure and getting my case the room to dash dance. Game. I was appreciating how much closer together everyone's been so far. It's, it's enough room for my case to dash chance in, but close enough that Swedish can back him up. And by the same token, it's close enough that my case can back up Swedish if something happens. Crush has been blocking a lot. Cobalt's been taking the pressure because of that. Red Team has been controlling the ground so well that the footing on Blue Team is off. Oh, Jesus! Straight in! It's tough because there's two fox, two fox up east to worry about. Oh Which my god. Now Fox is in Fox. <laughs> Both blue team members are about a smack away. Launcher, death, death. Double upper kills, okay. Looks like uh, my case just have really found the, the way they want to play the set. Right now, a lot of damage being tacked on to Swedish, and that up smash almost killed from that flat. He 
lands on stage, gets kicked. Mike Gaze, can he handle this well? He's gonna take a lot of damage. Oh. in the right spot. He's slightly mistimed that extra back here. Mike Gaze not been doing a lot of gameplay. He choked out of that edge. He's a normal there, and that's, that's fine by him. Yeah, he didn't cover the middle. My case against Crush. Now that's the fight has transitioned towards the center. Sheik's strengths, I think, are dissipating. Okay. Great strategy coming up from Red Team Big Bears. Oh, oh miscommunication. Yeah, it, it definitely made more sense for my case when Red Team. So it's just crazy. Yeah. My case trying to be a star player. Like Don't give kills. me the ball. <laughs> I got it, man. Some of the stats he had in this in the game. Yeah. Did that L-Smash clank? Okay, the L-Smash clank was something which delayed the hitbox, hitting Swedish on, on the back end. Swedish survived, barely. Tech roll not punished by Mike Hayes. He's in the center, but he's in a lot of trouble. He's got to take the lead here, though, for sure. Swedish doing a great initiative. Oh my gosh. He gets a kill. Oh, oh my god, the stock count oh. is nuts. Whoa. My case, what did you do? He didn't do anything. Is Crush going crazy? He just stared at him. Back okay. to back to off smash. Okay. Off stage. <laughs> Reverse. Doesn't matter. My case, stay on stage. Really good though. Okay. My case. No. There's a chance. Oh. Crush. Barely doesn't kill Swedish. Oh, okay, okay. You could do that. That was a good Crush, agree. yeah. I, I feel like Roll might have gotten the kill. And he, he hoped back air was gonna kill my case or, or trade. Oh, yeah, trade, yeah. But my case wisely positioning for ledge dash or, or whatever. You could also stall and just wait it. That might have worked out. Yeah. Something. Really, really close game. 2 1 victory right now going towards red team. Or sorry, blue team. Wait, they got the colors mixed up. Yeah. Right? <laughs> You're forgiving periods. Oh. Yeah, it, I'm looking at two colors that are opposite. I, I like to see Crush take a little bit more of an active role right now. Cobalt. Blue team kind of got sandwiched there for a while, and they, lost, they got a lot of percent back on them. But they're actually back pretty, pretty evenly. Oh, Fox is too good. Every day. Cobalt has not been winning too many scenarios against Swedish. Swedish has been making a lot of plays. Well, Fox tried to get above and like stop the vertical knockback. Yeah, trying to get a drill in there or something. Didn't quite work out. Mobile well, getting a lot of safe percent on. My kid is chasing but not attacking. Or with it, really. Oh. But the presence of mind there for Swedish to get that. Swedish is so good at getting these random launchers into edge guard. Jumps out of this. Very awkward hitboxes. He's got one chance for recovery here. Get shined by it. Dang! Wow. Transformation really wrecked him. Yeah. This is the rerun of last map. I was gonna say, if he just goes to the pit, that might be. Not the wisest. Not the best choice. There is one version of it where he down smashes them into oblivion, but that's a very hopeful one. <laughs> Falling up here is that only punishes teammate. Swedish target changing. That's, gonna be some crush. That's so sick against Crush. Oh, oh no, no, my case reversed it. Cobalt trying for that shine. A little greedy. You want to get the hardest possible thing to get the kill there. But it would have been the coolest one. Yeah, I've been invincible. Crush missing it, running up smash. He's going to follow up with this kill though. Yeah, that's going to feel bad. Swedish. Low stacks. You uh, avoid one fox up there up here, hit by the other foxes up here. That's a hundred, man. That's, that's happening every day. <laughs> oh, How did that illusion go so far? Fox is so good. Fox is too good, dude. Fox is meant to recover. Needle, one more, nah. Blue team holding that center gun way better. Crush, of course, playing support. Early on, it looked kind of rough for them because they got sandwiched. They around really quickly. <laughs> Crush just sniped that grab. That's so sick. Nair. Teamwork. Mike Hayes starting to make some new. Back to back to back. Swedish in such good positioning at all times. 
My K is patiently letting Swedish get that kill. They're at such high percent. One swing, two swings. Oh my gosh. Up air. Oh, that was sick. That's really sick positioning. Crush, of course, with sick aerial drift. That's cool because they didn't go off stage. It's a good, like, on stage. Yep, yep. That's, that's, that's Don't cool. even give him a chance to recover, man. Hit him so hard he dies. <laughs> That's my favorite way to edge guard, right? Just kill him. Hey, look, <laughs> you're saying Fox was too good. To, to, he's meant to recover. Just don't even give him the chance. Yeah, don't give him the chance to recover. Just, just kill him. It's coming out game five. Swedish and Mike Hayes losing game one as Peach Fox. They can always look back at that and say, we, we tried, we learned, but we lost that game. We got to win. Three honorable games now from a deficit. <laughs> FT seems like a really decent choice. I feel like Swedish needs to keep an eye on my case. Yeah, FT makes it a little harder for, for Swedish to get past like the, the Fox wall, but it also makes the combo game a little easier for... for a little team. bit more straightforward. I feel yeah. like anytime there are platforms and, and Sheik is being sharked from below, it's, it's not looking so good. But, I mean, we can say vice versa too, right? She has good juggles. She, she can take care of that. So we'll see. Red team being considered already. Yeah, see, so just, because he's a uh, slower than these two characters, two boxes. He's forced to kind of stay in certain spots, sometimes against his will. Right there, we saw him chase all the way to the left to try to get closer. A lot of this inaccessibility is in the wide stage. Oh, oh that was such a sick recovery from Swedish, getting the one save. My case, chain grabbing a little incorrectly. Way too close to the other foxes. Can you imagine they throw him into the other fox and get the body block over there? Boy, he was under 30%. Under 30%, you can't oh. really hit each other, right? So actually, grab is not the right solution. I think you're supposed to, like, uh, aerial. Now we know. Okay, he's trying to control the middle with big bears. He's almost gonna get some damage. Nice job, Swedish. Every time I look over, Swedish is just edge guarding. It's so <laughs> sick. Yeah, he's doing a really good job of it, too. He's covering so many things. Oh, Swedish, you just took a big leg. You can take another big leg. Oh, oh. That's not bad. Oh, that leg was bad. Oh, no. That's, this is one of the downsides to uh, be, trying to make more plays. You put yourself at bigger risk a lot of time. Yeah, you have to be there to make a play, right? Oh, what a wall wow. spike. Jesus. That shine spike was not tacked. Back you can see that my case is, is vertical camping the way we saw West Balls do a couple of sets ago. Yeah. He's really waiting for Sheik to come in and pin or pick off the box that approached him correctly. Dang! Pull ball! Sending a message. Swedish. Get that friendly fire. They're only dock. They're only down half a stock. The deficit is not that big yet. A lot of full hops coming out of my case. I wonder if which team is gonna read this movement. It's like Swedish is oh, Swedish has been covering it pretty well, but yeah. There's no Swedish here, let's see what happens. That's the sick part about doubles, right? Is that you can do something that's naturally unsafe, but with coverage. Yeah. Double edge rush switch here. Oh, wow. The sick part about this is neither one can help. <laughs> right? They're actually being double teamed consistently. But the problem here is that they both died at the same time. They didn't stagger their mental with all that type of degree. Usually you, you want to stagger your invincibility and take all the shine. Not both be invincible. Yeah. Oh no. My case. He's gonna attack. Okay. He's safe. Swedish. He wants Swedish to take the ground. My case is not bold enough to approach. He caught the jump. Wait, Dang. What, what? Cobalt. Classic Cobalt. He caught the jump with that six shine and then he. He was stuck away. I <laughs> oh, my case. Losing control of his dash dance. He's gotta play really safe now. He can't afford to, to trade at all. Yeah. My case being so defensive. Trying to use his body as bait. But Swedish has been doing 2v1s for a very long time. He finally picks his time to approach Mike Hayes. He gets one up smash. Not high enough percent. Swedish, you gotta hold these guys off. This is game five. Loser's life. Crush the force way in. Crush. Oh my god, what a save coming out. A trade wow. not favorable for Mike Hayes. How did Swedish not get this kill? Oh jeez. The jab's coming out! What did Kobal start? Oh, the grip. That was so close. That was such a sick shield stop from Swedish. Is this illusion going to be it? Nope. Oh, Crush backing off wisely. Big risk on that illusion, it worked out. 
great TI and the jab away. Oh my god. Swedish Delight comes out on top in the 2v1. My case does a huge pop up. These guys <laughs> were underseated against that team. They had to clutch out all of their victories. I gotta say, Swedish 